What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Ricky Arnold here uh, for Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm totally gonna have to create a new intro for this, aren't I? Yeah, I am. I don't have it yet, but I will create a new one. So if you guys haven't heard, Nvidia came out with a new set of drivers that now allows your FreeSync monitor to actually be able to use G-Sync if you have an Nvidia GPU. I know, this is something that I've been waiting for for a long time, and I just released a video about 144 hertz monitors, it'll be up here real quick, um, and whether they're worth it or not, and I already love my 144 hertz monitor, even though I was not able to take advantage of FreeSync because I do not have an AMD GPU, I have an Nvidia GPU, and now this is just the icing on the cake for me, and it also can be for you if you own a FreeSync capable monitor, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to enable uh, NVIDIA G-Sync on your FreeSync monitor right now. So let's go ahead and roll our intro and then I will get into explaining how this works. Let's go. So before we get started, not every single FreeSync monitor is actually said that it is supported. Um, and in fact, my, uh, my ViewSonic monitor back here is actually not on the list of supported monitors, but it does work. It'll say in your NVIDIA control panel when I get to that part that it is actually not listed as a uh, supported one, but you do still have the option. So if you have that whole thing going on like me, you'll see it in a second. Uh, don't worry, it'll still work for you. So there's gonna be four things that you guys need to make sure that you have before you can actually enable FreeSync or G-Sync, actually, sorry, enable G-Sync on your FreeSync monitor. First, you need a FreeSync or Adaptive Sync capable monitor. Second, you need a NVIDIA GTX or RTX capable graphics card. And actually laptops with uh, discrete graphics cards or you know GTX or RTX cards inside of them, those actually work too. You will need a display port cable, no HDMI cables here, just a display port cable to connect your monitor to your graphics card. And yes, mini display port cables also work for this as well. And lastly, you'll need to update your Nvidia GPU drivers to 417.17 or later. And that'll ensure that you have the correct driver to enable this feature. Okay, so once you've made sure that you have all those things ready to go, we can go ahead and get into the actual software part of this, and I will show you guys how to do this right now. First thing you guys need to do is actually go to your on-screen menu on your actual monitor, and then go to your menu and find your adaptive sync function or free sync function that is in your monitor, and you need to make sure that that is on. After you have this turned on, you need to actually go to your NVIDIA control panel in Windows, and then go ahead and select that and open that up. Get the NVIDIA control panel open, you just need to go to the option that says set up G-Sync, click that, and then you will see that your which monitor you have that is in NVIDIA enabled will be popped up right there and it looks like it has a GeForce logo on it. And then you just select the enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible option. Note, you also need to make sure that you have it set to full screen mode or windowed mode, whatever you feel like playing in. But uh, I've definitely read on a couple of things that you may affect your performance if you end up having it selected in a different option and then you end up playing your game in windowed mode. So make sure you guys play in whatever mode you select. What you have to do after that is click apply and you're good to go. You now have G-Sync on your FreeSync monitor and you're ready to start gaming. So if you're really not up to speed on what exactly FreeSync or G-Sync does, basically uh, the simplest thing I can kind of explain to you guys of what it does is, if you have like a 144 hertz monitor or higher like a high refresh rate monitor like I have back there, what it's really supposed to do is in games that you own that do not actually go up to that max frame rate or go over it, um, like games like what I tried mainly is with Grand Theft Auto 5 because it's still a very demanding game. Um, at 1080p ultra settings on my computer with a lot of stuff turned up, I still only hit you know between 70 and 100 frames per second when I'm really really running it great. Uh, so I notice this very well. So when you actually are not able to run all the way up to the frame cap of your monitor, what G-Sync or Adaptive Sync will actually do is make sure that your monitor catches up with the frame rate that your card is putting out and it will not let you have that screen tearing that what normally happens when you do not have this t option turned on. Uh, you'll instead, instead it'll be a lot smoother of a gameplay. And I noticed this very, very fast when I, uh, when I booted up Grand Theft Auto 5 because I used to notice when I would kind of scroll around, especially with the uh, vertical, vertical lines and horizontal lines, I would notice that when I scrolled fast, I would notice there was a tear in the middle of the screen because 
the uh, actual screen and the frame rate were trying to catch up with each other. So now with this whole free sync, G sync option, that will no longer exist and you will have an ultra smooth gameplay, which I noticed right away and I'm very, very happy that Nvidia put this out for us. Another game that I actually saw this benefit that was really awesome was uh, the new Call of Duty 4. Uh, unfortunately, right now, my graphics card, I have a GTX 1070. It runs it over 60 pretty much all the time, but it does not hit 144 frames a second, obviously. Uh, it it kind of stays between 70 and 100, maybe sometimes a little higher than that. Um, but this whole option right here gives me the most ultra smooth gameplay I've seen in that game at all. And because of how fast paced that game is, that is exactly the experience that you want with a high free refresh rate monitor. And now that I've had this whole experience, again, like I said in that last video, I could never go back to any other type of monitor, guys. So if you guys have one of these 144 hertz monitors that have free sync, you need to do this option if you have an NVIDIA GPU. It is, ba it is free and it is something that you guys will, once you start noticing it, you'll never be able to go back, just like I said in the last video. So. Make sure you guys follow these instructions. Make sure you guys get this whole thing booted up on your computer. And let me know down in the comments your guys' experiences and if you guys have had any problems and I'll do my best to help you guys out. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a cool like. Uh, I never really ask you guys, but make sure you guys go to my social medias and give me a follow because um, I put out stuff on those sometimes to kind of update you guys on what I'm doing in my life and what I'll be coming out with next. So make sure you guys go give me a follow on the, my social media accounts and then make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so again you guys can see more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Peace.